Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to bring you this uh, just kind of a look-see and a walk-through my Christian planner. So remember I told you uh, that I ordered the planner that I thought was the one I had wanted, but I in fact should have ordered the Purposeful Planner, but that's fine. I ordered the Christian planner thinking this was the right one and I'm just using it. It's working out. So I just wanted to give you a flip through now that I have actually started putting some things into it because I think I showed you this a couple months ago. It was still blank. I have put a few things in here. So I'm loving this planner. Now this planner is very different from my regular mom planner, which is this um, blue sky. I keep all of, all of my... Um, mom things, kids appointments, and different things in this planner. But my Christian planner is very specific, and I'm using that for a lot of my devotions. I'm using it for my ladies group. I'm using it just for, you know, things God gives me to share. So I wanted to run you through this really quickly and just show you how I was using this. So this is the Christian planner. Then I open it up and it just says um, 2019 Christian Planner. And then uh, this is the welcome play page, how to use it at the beginning of the year, every week, every day, and then every uh, month. It, it gives you some things of what you can do. So once you open it, the first thing you open it to is the vision board. And I was very excited about the vision board because... It really just gives me a, a, at a glance to what I feel like God is saying to me, calling me to, or whatever in this year. So it says, um, here's a couple things that it prompts you that you could put on this page. Favorite heroes, what's your favorite quote, um, where do you want to travel, Where? what are your gifts, what are your favorite church images, what are your dreams. And so... I, this is not finished by any means. I actually worked on it for quite a while and then I haven't worked on it um, for a little a little bit longer. Um, but one of my favorite all-time people is um, Mother Teresa. And the reason why Mother Teresa is one of my favorite people is because when she got her calling, what she calls the call within a call from the Lord... She didn't have a lot of support. She didn't have people that believed in that call. And she did it anyway. And that is that speaks to me. Because there have been times when I felt like some people didn't understand the call God put on my life. But that's my call. It's not theirs. So I can't necessarily expect them to understand. But she is my motivation you know, just looking at her life and what she did. She did so much to impact the world. And she never took that on herself or gave herself any credit for it. She always credited God. Um, so I love her. Um, she says, live simply so others may simply live. And, I, you know, that's what I think about a lot. Um, don't wait for leaders to do it alone. Person to person. Be faithful in small things because it is in them that your strength lies. You know, do what you can. That's what my life is. Do what you can. Um, another one of my favorites is Priscilla Shire. Um, I just love her. I love the Evans family. Um, I want to definitely make sure that my kids know all of the books of the New and the Old Testament. They do, of course. But I want to make sure that I know they know. Um, I'm all about faith. Um forwarding all issues to heaven you know that's how I'm, I'm just praying about a lot of stuff do all the things love all the people you know I believe in loving God and loving his people one of my main goals for 2019 is to really get my ladies ministry going more than what it is I mean it's going we have our ladies bible study every Monday night if you have not joined us please feel free to join us but now to the point where I'm wanting to actually go out more than what I have been and really speaking at ladies events and different things. So I, you know, put that, put that, you know, that's just a goal for me is to really speak uh, 12 times this year outside of my home church. 
because people are outside of my home ministry that need to hear what I've been through, how God has brought me through, how the Lord has really helped me, shaped me, and changed me. Um, my thing is, ask me about Jesus. Here are some verses for fear and anxiety. It doesn't matter how much you love the Lord. Sometimes things get you and you need to have a verse. I always ask people, what's your verse? If you don't have a whole book full of them, what is your one verse that's going to help get you through today? So that's one of my you know, biggest things. is have one verse at least that you can pull on when you need it. Um, definitely working on sermons and that type of thing this year. Um, keep calm and spread the gospel. That's just why I'm here. It's why I'm on YouTube. It's why I'm on Facebook. It's why I am existing is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, and then um, to make sure that my children know the Lord and love the Lord. And so I just put um, the 12 ways to, to show Christ to my children every day. I want them to see it and therefore then live it. Uh, it asked me in 2019, what do I want to do? Okay, so some goals for um, 2019. I want to uh, have a job change is what I've been praying and asking the Lord for. Uh, I want to do a family vacation to Nashville. And I want to go to the Carolina Opry. And then I want to do some off-site speaking engagements. Over the next five years, I want to... Speak in the ladies' ministry circuit, meaning going from place to place doing lady women's ministry, and then also getting my blogging more than what I'm doing now. I don't want to just start doing everything because I won't do a lot of things well. I just want to do one or two things and then get that well and then do some other things. So I do want to travel and speak. Um, that is a is what I feel like the Lord is calling me to, and I'm thankful for that. Um, and then I want to eventually go into full-time ministry, helping God's people, doing whatever. So I am thankful for where the Lord has me right now. And he is moving me into position to be able to do some of these things. And again, just very, very thankful. So that's the vision board page. And then you go over to the healthy habits and goals page. So um, this asks me, or this gives me a grid for things I want to do daily once to twice a month uh, one to three times a year and then once or twice a week so i want to make my bed every day okay y'all that's a real goal because i don't always get to make it every day i want to pray i want to study my bible every day and i want to be a blessing to somebody every day that doesn't mean i want to spend money it just means i want to be a blessing some kind of way encouraging word a smile um something like that uh, one to two times a week, I want to work out at the gym, do Taekwondo, do at least one blog post on my Facebook page and my WordPress page per week. And then once to twice a month, I want to do a Facebook video chat with my ladies, volunteer somewhere with my kids or serve. And I will be doing a teaching, a biblical teaching at least once a month. I'm not going to say once. I'm not going to say twice because right now I'm just planning it for the fourth Friday night of the month that that video will post. And then um, one to three times a year, I want to take a family trip, go on vacation with my kids. So I had this book. Um, it's from the 365 collection uh, for the Happy Planner, just of stickers that I had not been using. I use a few here and there. And um, <clears throat> please forgive me, the kids and I are recovering from just some junk. But I hadn't been using those. And all of a sudden, it made sense <clears throat> because I had some blank pages or my pages were a little bit blank just to fill in with some of the stickers that I had. So this says, a, a grateful heart is a magnet for kindness a grateful heart is a magnet for kindness i like that one this is the day that the lord has made rejoice i like that one and then just for shakima you know sometimes i do have to be still i'm always constantly in go 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 mode and so i do want to be still then my 2009 goals i want to up my subs to 10,000 by the end of the year i want to do at least 12 collabs i want to do um at least one blog post every month and then 12 teachings on YouTube. That would be one teaching per month. Um, 
12 invitations to speak outside of my home church, and then paid $500 a month to my debt, a minimum, in addition to making the minimum payment. So that is a goal for me. Um, I should also put up here that I do want to lose another 50 pounds. You know, just whatever your goals are for that that month or that year. And then I put some additional stickers up here. I want to bloom wherever I'm planted, wherever God puts me. I want to be at my full capacity. Sometimes I'm just a little bit of a blade and sometimes I'm a seed. But I really want to bloom. I want to extend grace to people every day. I want to shine bright and love God's people. I want to live out loud. I, that doesn't mean I want to be loud. It just wants means I want my life to be loud for the Lord. I always want to be humble and kind. I want to encourage one another. And then I want to believe what the Lord says. And I want to be a friend. That is some of the goals that I have for 2019. And I can still put in additional goals as the year goes along. So I'm thankful for these pages that I can actually open. And I like the vibrant colors so I can actually look and see what it is that the Lord has done. And a lot of times we just need to write stuff down and, you know, see how God answers those prayers. Then the next page, um, this is just my year at a glance. And um, I just went ahead and marked with these little dots. Um, birthdays or anniversaries or different things like that for 2019 and then I left 2020 blank um, the next page is my monthly spread and what I put up here which I feel is helpful for me is I definitely want to put my minimum debt payment that's just a reminder every time I go to this page I'm gonna see Minimum debt payment is $500. So far for the month, I'm at $478, I think. And I'm hopeful to be able to make another payment this month, a really large payment to really get my debt down. And then I put at the top my word of the year, focus. So that's my word of the year. And then here, I do write down some of my appointments, but like I said, my main appointments go in my mom planner because I'm just trying to use this for spiritual things. So at the bottom here, it gives you a little bit of reflection. It says, what are the blessings in my life from last month? What accomplishments am I proud of? And then I can just make a little list at the bottom, which I did make a little list. And then the last thing it asked me over here are, how can I demonstrate love for God and for others this month? And then I write down some goals and things that I can do to... Um, honor God and honor his people and serve his people. And so that's just my month at a glance. Then I go over to this page and I have my weekly devotional and then my Bible study sketch or what I'm working on for the month. And so um, I was preparing for the best yes and a couple of chapters we were going to read. And then I watched a YouTube video and I just took a few notes on the YouTube video. And then over here, the Lord was really speaking to me about some things I was just praying about from my goal sheet and going out and doing practical ministry and actually really jumping into, not jumping into ministry, but I've been serving in ministry since 2014. I got my call in 2012 and I've been serving in my local church, but now I'm praying about expanding that and going outside of the church. Now I have been outside of my local church to minister as well, but I'm praying that the Lord would increase those opportunities and my reach a little bit more than where I am currently. And so you have these doubts in your head, like really God's going to use you. And so he was just giving me some you know, he was just giving me some things and I was writing them down as they came to me. So those two pages are really helpful just as far as journaling and um, you only get, you get one of these pages per week. But if you needed to add in additional pages, I'm sure that I could paper clip a couple pages in. Then I go to my, and so on this page, which is my weekly pages, um, is where I put all the ladies who sent me their word and then I've been filling in verses for the ladies who didn't have verses and I haven't filled in everybody's but I've been filling them in as I've had a few minutes here and there and then um and then over here at the bottom is where I have my daily health and habit tracker 
And so I write down the things that I'm going to try to do every day. So I have my water, Bible reading, cleaning, making the bed, taking my pills for my blood pressure, my allergies, uh, and my um, supplements for keto, and then going to the gym, and then walking, taekwondo, and then there's an empty one. I've got to figure out one. And then, of course, you just check off things, which I haven't done a good job of doing my checking off. That was the first week. So then I just clipped these pages because I was done with these pages. So then I have some additional um, Bible study notes where I was writing down. Oh, okay. So I was writing down the words from the people who did send me a verse. I was writing down the verses here for myself to go back and study. And then I was also writing down some additional verses over here on this side. So if somebody get, sent me their word and they gave me a verse, then I was writing down the words and the verses for me to study. And then I had another um, page where I just filled out a few things here, a few verses that I wanted to read or remember or that I had studied for the day. I did the habit tracker again, but I didn't check them off. So I have to get in the habit of doing, I have to get in the habit of doing the habit tracker. And then of course my word is there again, focus. And then I back to my devotionals and some things that the Lord and I have been just kind of going through talking about writing out this was from the best yes because I was prepping for the Bible study Monday night. Um, so I have just been writing some things in. Then over here, um, again, just my weekly and then some devotion. But I have not actually filled in for this page. And then this morning, which was Sunday the 20th, I had to do the offering encouragement at church. And so I wrote down my verse and then I wrote down a few um, points that I got from that verse. And then I wrote down, of course, my habit tracker. And so I did my Bible reading this morning. Um, the kids and I did a tidy this morning, so I'll need to mark that off. Um, I will mark off for taking my pills. I did not make the bed. Um, and then I added in um, pray for the ladies which is another habit that I'm trying to get in every day is to pray for my ladies and then also to do a kindness for people, you know, to make sure I do something every day that would be considered a kindness and then just mark that off so I can keep a track of what I haven't, haven't done. And then I just plan to go back and put my paper clip in because I'm trying to just make sure that I have, you know, the things that are most important, which for me is my month at a glance. Then to make sure I have my ladies where it's with my words and then the week that I am on for this week. So it's pretty simple as of yet. I haven't done a, to me, I've done a lot in this, but um, to somebody else, it may not seem so. The weeks are just the same. They go the same um, all the way throughout the year. And then you have these uh, ribbons where you can mark your pages. Because here um, from this morning's sermon, I was actually taking some notes. Because I've been filming the services um, for the ladies who are working in the back with the children. Um, I don't always get to take notes, but I was able to take my tripod, put the camera up, get that filmed. So I was able to take some notes this morning. And then um, for my teaching that I'm going to do on the 25th, I have just started making my notes here for that teaching. So that's going to go up on YouTube on Friday, January 25th. And that's going to be on Radical Generosity. I'm going to just teach a little bit on that. And so... That is my habit tracker. I just, or my Christian planner, I wanted to share with you guys how I was using it and how the Lord is really, it's helping me to study because I have those pages where I can go back and just write things in that, of course, me and the Lord have dealt with. We've talked about, I can take notes. Um, I can just go back and review 
any of these scriptures or verses if I want to. And it just is an encouragement to me. So if you are doing anything that's similar to what I have here, I would love to hear down in the comments what you're doing and how the Lord is really um, working with you so far in 2019. My verse, um, my word of the year was focus and my focus was going to be on me and the Lord and how we were making our connection work together with each other. So again, this is just helping me to be able to stay focused and to really dig in and, and, and me and the Lord just have some things we need to, we need it to work out between the two of us. Not he doesn't have anything he needs to work out, but I'm just trying to pour myself into what I believe is right and true for myself so that I can do that with my family and then with people outside of our family as well. So that is just how I'm using my 2019 Christian Planner. Just wanted to share that with you guys. If you got the Christian Planner, let me know how you're using it. Maybe I gave you some tips. Maybe you can give me some tips to let me know how you're doing it. If you're a sticker person, how can I better utilize my stickers? I would really love some of those little um, clips that you know are really pretty. At Home with Nikki, she always has pretty clips in her book. But for now, I'm just going to keep those good old paper clips and keep it moving. But anyway, that's our 2019 Christian Planner and how we're using it. We hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of our planner. Thank you guys so much for stopping by our channel. And we'll see you next video. Bye now.